this helicopter looks like so many others in the row. Just a vintage machine at the boneyard supplying parts to others. But this CH-46 has more than 11,000 air hours and a special place in history. This one here was the last aircraft out of Vietnam back in August, uh, April 30th, 1975 during Operation Frequent Wind. This aircraft picked up the Marine Guard off the U.S. Embassy um, building in Saigon. When most people think of the last helicopter out of Saigon, this is the image that comes to mind. Actually, that, that famous picture you see really isn't the U.S. Embassy. That is an apartment complex down the street from the U.S. Embassy called the Pittman Apartment Complex. And that housed uh, the, the CIA, a lot of CIA folks, and it also housed folks from USAID. And uh, that aircraft was an Air America Huey that had landed on that rooftop to take out some folks. Uh, so that's, a lot of people get confused thinking that was the U.S. Embassy. That, that really wasn't the embassy. Back at the embassy, the big CH-53 helicopters along with the CH-46s were ferrying people away from Saigon. There were a number of landing zones in and around the embassy complex. The one on the left is where the Marine Guards waited for their ride. The problem was a misunderstanding left them without a helicopter. The aircraft that took the, the ambassador, the U.S. ambassador out, Graham Martin, um, was, was another H-46, just like this one. It was 154803, which is in uh, San Diego, the Flying Leatherneck Museum in San Diego. Um, took the ambassador out at about 0500 in the morning on the April 30th. And um, the guard was up behind him when, when 154803, which was call sign was Lady, um, Lady Ace 09, took off. It sent out a code message that said the Tiger is out and all the other aircraft in the area thought that that meant that the mission was complete and they all left and went back to their ships, um, leaving the Marine Guard on the roof of the Chancery Building. On the roof that day was Corporal John Gillian. We spoke with him from his home in Massachusetts. I'll never forget me, Keen saying, gentlemen, you know, we all joined the Marine Corps, we're all gonna die like Marines. This could be our Alamo. And we all just looked at one another and went, oh boy. Eventually, the Marines were able to let someone know that they were still on the roof at the embassy. That's where the helicopter, call sign SWIFT-22, enters into history. Uh, later on, there was another H-46 that was looking on, it was on a search mission for another aircraft that had gone down due to mechanical failure. And it was dispatched to the U.S. Embassy to pick up the Marine Guard off the roof of the Chancery Building. Uh, they got the Marine Guard out around 0753 in the morning and uh, flew to the USS Okinawa, and that was the last aircraft out of Vietnam. This photo was taken inside SWIFT-22 not long after it lifted off the roof of the embassy. The evacuation of Saigon was historic because it marked the end of the Vietnam War, but it also has another footnote in aviation history. It was the largest helicopter evacuation uh, effort in history, and uh, from the embassy that day, um, they evacuated, the Marine Corps evacuated uh, 985 Americans and 1,100 uh, Vietnamese and foreign nationals from the embassy grounds that day, uh, which is, was pretty significant. Swift 2-2's time in the desert is limited. A museum is currently negotiating to have her restored so the public can get a look at the last plane out.